Hello everybody, this is Hydro Power Games with my first official snapshot review video. Bam. So yeah, I bet lots of people are hyped about this this snapshot we got going here. Uh, you know what? I actually, actually... Whoa! Holy... What? That's like worse than TNT. <laughs> Alright. They need to have like a squishy slime block here. But yes, snapshot, so many new things. It's unbelievable. It's amazing. It's incredible. It's I have no more suggest I, I have no more adjectives to it. So let's start with it as soon as possible. So first off, how are you guys doing today? I know you have nothing better to do because you're watching a snapshot video. Uh so Oh, forgot. No, 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 no. See, that's what I get for being a jerk. I get launched into the air. That was totally planned, by the way. Ow! I hit this! You saw me hit that. I hit that. I hit that. I was on right here, and I still took damage. This is still kind of buggy, I think. Uh, but yeah, let's just get started with the video, shall we? Uh, first things first. Villagers. Before they were awesome. Now they're even more awesome. Uh, getting perfect villagers is a simple... Holy crap, that's a lot of... <laughs> Oh, dang it. Uh, yeah, but now, villagers have little subtypes, and, uh, oh, I can't right-click this one for some reason. Oh, that's weird. Maybe I hit him, and... That might be it. I hit this guy, and I can't right-click with him, but don't count me on that. Uh, yeah, but villagers have different little tag names. Uh, I think these are his librarian. Uh, but yeah, but this one was armor, or... Oh, wait, oh! Oh, oh, can I, can I interact with you now? No? I don't want to relog. That's going to take too long. Uh, but yeah, the, ju just take my word for it. This guy said, um, weapon, something. Um, so yeah, they broke up all the, because some villagers had just like insane amount of trades. So they broke them up into different types of villagers. And now if you want to make perfect villagers like, like DocM77 or JL or... I don't know the zip crowd guys from Europe that actually do that stuff. Um, if you want to do that, you kind of need more more villagers, which is bad and good at the same time. Uh, first off, no longer is trading with the last slot always infinite. You always it gets locked out. Then you have to trade with another trade. If you know what I'm talking about, then good. If you don't, then ignore it because you can just watch docm 77s perfect villager trading thingy video uh, that's a very bad trade no one uses uh, that, that could be used I guess I mean blast protection is better than fire protection yes the big one everyone's been talking about slime blocks and as you can assume it's just nine slime balls in a crafting table just like any other metal block and then it prevents fall damage and survival because I am indeed in survival and it it looks kind of slimy. Uh, Seth, I wanted it to launch you into the air, man. It's kind of sad that it only launches you that far. Like, half, or even worse than that. Whoa, message. Uh, but it's still pretty cool. I mean, I can't make... I was kind of work. You, know, you can be pushies with pistons, so... I was trying to... I thought I could make some kind of elevator that kept jumping you up and then placing blocks under you and then you just you just stand on it but that doesn't work because these have such it, it's still cool but it's just not that oh almost forgot one of the most important things granite but I was gonna get to it over there any anyway, granite something something BAM end of end of snapshot video see you later guys no I'm kidding <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get to the granite and stuff over in the chest area. But first things first, enchanting got an overdrive. And I mean like insane haul over. I don't even know what the right word for it is because it's just pretty revamped. And much better and much more abusable if you, if you abuse it. I don't know. It, it's just, it's better if you want to farm but it can be abused really really easy and um, I'm gonna show you why so 
here's how enchanting worked before. You put an item in right here in this slot, and then it just like right here and right there area. It would be 30 levels, and you get something 100% random. It's nothing. But now in the snapshot, it's like uh, you need 30 levels to unlock that trade. But you need uh, also lapis, and that unlocks all three trades at the same time and when you use like this right here for example instead of losing all 30 levels it'll only use three because it says three right here and you get preview to what you're gonna get but you can't refresh the trades which I think there's nothing wrong with that because in the past you okay this is a weird way of thinking about it but when you enchant something that's bad it's inevitable if you were in the past and you would have known you gotten that bad enchantment you were probably gonna enchant it anyway so it doesn't matter if you see a bad enchantment because some people are complaining about that it's actually better because then you can enchant something else uh... i don't want respiration i'm breaking yeah that that might be a good one but i want silk touch <laughs> who doesn't want silk touch um... B. there you go let's see this silk touch efficiency four and yeah, that's that's how it works, huh? Man, we're only we're down to twenty eleven. <laughs> uh, so yeah, new enchanting, awesome. Uh, the biggie, the biggie abusey part though is the repairing. Ah, oh, they never write their pause for. Err, oh well. Uh, you can pretty much ensure what you're gonna get on the book because the odds of it being more than one thing is pretty low. See, it's just like. You can just, you know, it would be cool if you could just, like, leave the stack in there and then you don't have to refill it every single time. Uh, but, yeah, you can just combine books, like, it's no problem. Yeah, I'm just gonna combine this, why not? I'm just gonna put this on that. I can't do that, it doesn't have any of it. How about this? There you go, it's just, like, it, it's insanely low cost now. And another good change is... Renaming only costs one level, which is awesome. Uh, diamond blade of all time. I don't know. But yeah, that that is a little brief touch on the enchanting thing. I know people are talking about it, and in my cha in my opinion, it is really good as long as people don't abuse it. But bam, a really big improvement or a really good um, addition to the game. There is a new at command it is called at e which targets all entities of the specified parameters and man i gotta tell you when i saw this i'm like oh my gosh who is ever gonna use that and then i started thinking about it and i thought of all these ideas of how to use it i'm like no way this is actually a really good thing they added into the game makes everything so much easier uh... so let me explain how this works so there's a new little uh, parameter tab it's called type and that specifies which type of entity you want to select with the slash e or the yeah at e uh, so yeah if you ever want to for some reason like have a negative spell that causes all the spiders in the whole world to have a 10 second speed buff like bam there it is no other except for spider and you can see this particles and they actually work uh... it only doesn't work if you add them in with mc edit and let's just say this skeleton's being a jerk and starts shooting me ow ow whatever should i do die wait what what oh whoops oh well <laughs> i promise you that works oh dang it I promise you that works uh, slash kill command got new things. I haven't learned how to work it yet. That's why I have these extra command blocks. And now that guy's gonna annoy me, which is gonna bring me to the difficulty screen. Oh, totally planned out. <laughs> you can now lock your difficulty, and difficulty save is gonna be world data, not uh, not just option data. So you can, when you log into the world, it's gonna be the last save difficulty. And if you want for adventure maps or for youtubers that want to feel pro about themselves you can lock the world difficulty and bam it's what was that oh oh okay i see that was just an arrow that never hit me so now for forever in this creative 
um, test world, which I have so many tests over there, it will forever be on hard. Unless you type slash difficulty, of course. Wait, does that work? T... C1? Yeah, it still works. Okay, you can... If you have op powers, you can override it, obviously. And finally, last, but certainly not least, the... Oh, wait, wrong chest. But <laughs> there's one thing you can do. Oh, crap. Dang it, wrong... Wrong creative mode I am. Anyway, you do not get stone big monster eggs. Don't get excited. So, yeah, stone bricks and vines will make stone... Mossy stone brick right there. Um, but bam. Granite. Uh, wait. Dang, I messed up again. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, granite. Diorite and andestine. I'm not sure how to pronounce them. Those are really weird pronunciations. Uh, but yeah, lots of people already know what these are. This spawned in kind of like gravel. There's tons of it. It's a stone counterpart. But lots of people don't know, it's actually also a crafting recipe. So if you if you craft this in, you get this as a result right here, a granite. Craft these two. I'm not sure. You might get granite. You might get something else. I, you know what? Let me test that right now. And I'm going to show you what happens. This is what happens. This is what happens. Granite. Yeah, okay. It was right. Bam. Granite. And right here, if you cobblestone and diorite, we'll get andestine. I have no clue how to pronounce that. And all these have smooth counterparts as well, or polished. It's called polished here, not smooth. And just make in the 4x4 crafting grid, and it gets polished versions of that block. And... That pretty much covers every single topic, major bug fixes, performance improvements, uh, I think this is the B snapshot, yeah, that's the B snapshot, uh, so there was a bug when going into end, your world would crash for, like, ever or something, <laughs> so that, that's not fun, they fixed that, oh man, this is, they should make a spleef out of this, this is, this is, like, worth spleef, just, like, easy spleef game instantly. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you all next time. Peace.